Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss the following question which says that determine a limit of log of sin of x upon log of tan of x as x tends to 0 b limit of log of cos of x upon tan of x as x tends to pi by 2 L. Hopital's rule states that if f of x and g of x are two functions such that f of a is equal to 0 and g of a is equal to 0 then limit f of x by g of x as x tends to a is equal to the limit f dash of x by g dash of x as x tends to a this rule is also applicable for f of a is equal to infinity and g of a is equal to infinity. With this key idea, let us proceed with the solution. Now we are to find the value of the expression limit log of sin of x by log of tan of x as x tends to 0. Now if we put the value of x as 0, then the expression becomes log of sin of 0 upon log of tan of 0, which is equal to log of 0 upon log of 0. Therefore it takes infinity by infinity form since log of 0 is equal to minus infinity. According to L. Hopital's rule, which states that if f of x and g of x are functions such that f of a is equal to infinity and g of a is equal to infinity then limit f of x upon g of x as x tends to a can be written as limit f dash of x upon g dash of x as x tends to a therefore applying the L. Hopital's rule we get limit differential of log of sin of x with respect to x that is 1 upon sin of x into differential of sin of x with respect to x that is cos of x upon differential of log of tan of x with respect to x that is 1 upon tan of x into Differential of tan of x with respect to x that is 6 square of x as x tends to 0. Now if we put the value of x as 0 in this expression we get cos of 0 upon sin of 0 whole upon 6 square of 0 upon tan of 0 which is equal to cos 0 is 1 and sin 0 is 0. So we have 1 upon 0 that is infinity and in the denominator we have 6 square of 0 that is 1 and tan of 0 which is 0 so this is also infinity so the expression is of infinity by infinity form and this can be written as limit cos of x upon sin of x is cot of x upon 1 upon tan of x is cot of x into 6 square of x as x tends to 0 and this is equal to limit 
वन अपॉन सिक्स स्क्वायर ऑफ एक्स एज एक्स टेंस टू जीरो नाउ पुटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एज जीरो वी गेट वन अपॉन सिक्स स्क्वायर ऑफ जीरो विच इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन वन स्क्वायर दैट इज वन देर फोर द वैल्यू ऑफ द एक्सप्रेशन लिमिट लॉग ऑफ साइन ऑफ एक्स अपॉन लॉग ऑफ टेन ऑफ एक्स एज एक्स टेंस टू जीरो इज इक्वल टू वन विच इज द रिक्वायर्ड आंसर नाउ वी शेल फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ द एक्सप्रेशन लिमिट लॉग ऑफ कॉस ऑफ एक्स बाय टेन ऑफ एक्स एज एक्स टेंस टू पाई बाय टू Now, if we put the value of x as pi by 2 in this expression, we get log of cos of pi by 2 by tan of pi by 2. Since cos of pi by 2 is 0, therefore in the numerator we have log of 0 that is minus infinity, and tan of pi by 2 is not defined. So this expression is of infinity by infinity form. And according to L. Hopital's rule, we have if f of x and g of x are two functions such that f of a is equal to infinity and g of a is equal to infinity, then limit f of x upon g of x as x tends to a is equal to limit f dash of x by g dash of x as x tends to a. Therefore. Applying the L. Hopital's rule, we have limit differential of log of cos of x with respect to x, that is, one upon cos of x into differential of cos of x with respect to x. That is minus of sine of x upon differential of tan of x with respect to x. That is six square of x as x tends to pi by two. This can be written as limit one upon cos of x can be written as sec of x into minus of sine of x by Six square of x as x tends to pi by two, which is equal to limit minus of sine of x by sec of x as x tends to pi by two. That is limit minus of sine of x into One upon sec of x can be written as cos of x as x tends to pi by two. If we put the value of x as pi by two in this expression, we get minus of sine of pi by two into cos of pi by two, which is equal to minus of sine of pi by two is one. Into cos of pi by two, which is zero, that is equal to zero. Therefore, the value of the expression limit log of cos of x by tan of x as x tends to pi by two is equal to zero, which is the required answer. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.